This is Beth with the McGurk Horton branch of the Greensboro Public Library. I am the Youth Services Librarian here, and I am going to talk about the young adult series Dread Nation by Justina Ireland that starts with the novel Dread Nation and continues with Deathless Divide. Author Justina Ireland has created a historical novel where the war to end slavery never begins. Instead, the dead begin to come back to life and the North and South decide to free the slaves to help fight the dead. The country then depends on black youth to be the ones who will train to protect those with money and privilege. Racial inequity continues in spite of new freedom. At the beginning of Dread Nation, our main character, Jane, is attending a school for young black women who are training to fight zombies, or as they call them, shamblers. Once the women graduate from the school, they are enlisted to protect the well-to-do and serve them as distinguished attendants. Jane is not exactly lady material since she sneaks out at night to protect travelers and destroy shamblers. She is soon tasked by her charming and handsome friend Jackson to help him find his sister out in the world where she finds plenty of trouble to accompany flesh-eating undead. Justina Ireland has reimagined the United States as a place where a dystopian past is both liberating and discriminatory for Black people. Jane and her friends gain the skills to protect themselves and others, but must work equally hard to fight injustice. I just finished reading the sequel, and I don't want to tell you too much about it because, spoilers, but it kept my interest just as well. There's the history, the combat, the personal conflicts, and the injustice. It's also told from the perspective of two different characters. Now for the twist, Shambler Eyeballs. They're easy to make and a delicious treat to serve to your family and friends. You get to eat the Shamblers instead of having them eat you. Tools, a baking pan, parchment paper, an oven preheated to 350 degrees. The ingredients, checkerboard pretzels, white round chocolates, candy coated chocolates, red sprinkles, and decorative icing. Place parchment paper on baking pan and cover with pretzels. Grab the white chocolate you will be using. Place chocolates on the pretzels. Get your chocolate candies, red sprinkles, and decorative icing ready. Put your pretzels and chocolate in a 350 degree oven for two or three minutes, just until soft. Remove from oven, place a candy on top of each and press down a little. Place a few red sprinkles on top of each. Squeeze a dot of decorative icing in the middle of each chocolate candy. Let cool in the refrigerator and then eat the eyeballs. Well, I hope you get a chance to enjoy this series by Justina Ireland. And please enjoy some Shambler eyeballs.